This is a full studio, smaller than a phone, with 4K, PTZ, and AI for less than $500. Take my money. So the Office Bot Tail Air is a full studio in a box, or actually, it's a tiny PTZ camera, and let me explain why this is so mind-blowing. For $500, you get a PTZ camera with an amazing set of features. AI tracking, gesture control, 4K, streaming, internal recording, dual ISO, and an internal battery. Wow! When you turn on the Ops Bot, this light goes green, and you get a few options. You can obviously stream the camera view, but it also lets you break up the frame by speaker so you can cut between two hands, even though this is only one camera. Better yet, if you're moving around, the camera will track you. So you can actually do this. Now you select me and now it's gonna track me. So if I go here, it's gonna be here. And if I go here, it's gonna be here and you stop it here again. So if you're vlogging and you're moving around, you don't have to worry about keeping in the frame. You can also zoom in and out, and generally with all those options, it feels like you're getting multiple cameras with just one device. If you own a YOLO box, this is actually a match made in heaven. I'd love to know if anyone here is a regular streamer. Um, tell us in the comments below. It's kind of like the Opsbot has a magical AI cameraman. The camera will move to keep you in the frame so you can keep your hands free to do yoga or cook or whatever you're streaming. Actually, you can go totally hands-free. You do this to zoom. Or you do this. And you do this to track. And you do this to start and stop recording. You can even set your own composition by putting this little cross where you want the attention to go. And now I can put myself in the middle of the frame, or if I want to go more cinematic, I can go like this, now I'm always on this side of the frame. It's kind of amazing. Now if I go and do this, now I'm on the other side of the frame. And if I want to go back to being in the middle, then I can do this. And now I'm always in the middle. I can also control the height. So uh, if I go AI, I can go close up or I can go half body. Just, I think this is amazing and it will track me depending on what I told it to do. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty amazed. You can also go full manual or set a few key positions and jump between them. When you're manual, it's just like going manual on a DSLR. You set the exposure, color profile, and so on. To be honest though, it always got perfect skin tone and exposure. It almost feels magical. I mean, it even follows you in the dark. This is a creepy sentence, I know, but bear with me. Obsbot decided to go with a dual ISO sensor and it paid off Big time. Even when it's dark, there is no noise, it's sharp and clean, great colors, and overall, it just puts other small sensors to shame. This is quite amazing. I'm out in the dark, and I'm using the eternal mic, and the camera just follows me around. The only thing the tail air won't do is rotate a full circle. You need to buy an accessory for that. It's $400, but it also triples your battery life. So, you know, take your pick. And again, this is all crammed in the size of a soda can. It's mind blowing. On the front, you have some LED indicators for the battery and an LED strip. The strip is a status indicator with color and pulses, just like a regular indicator. On the back, you have a power button and a USB-C port for charging and data. On the right, you have a micro SD slot for storage and a micro HDMI output. Lastly, on the left, you have a 3.5 audio jack. The tail air goes in a tiny box that you can carry around and stream from anywhere. You get a selection of your standard services like Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, uh, X, YouTube, and even OBS. The only missing app is Instagram. For streaming, you will need a PC or a phone, but if you just want to record, you can still use the tail air in standalone mode, but you'll wanna connect an external monitor so you can see what you're doing. You choose between 4K 30 or 
1080p60 and even have some control over the bitrate. Do note that while you can stream and record at 4K, you can't do both at the same time. One has to be 1080. The tail air has an internal mic, but if you're standing further away, you can plug in a wireless microphone, just like the one that I'm using here. You can control the tail air with the app, but you can also buy a remote that can pretty much do anything that the app does, including zoom, pan, tilt, record well, everything. This is a very useful thing if you can't access your phone because it is further away. Plus, it has gyro control, so just like Nintendo Wii. And check out this laser power zoom. And if you need a more sophisticated or a studio setup, you can also buy an NDI license and control any number of tail airs from your laptop. That was easy. Just before I wrap up, here's a cool feature. You can set the tail air to start streaming on a regular schedule, say when your dog eats, uh, you know, for Wolfie's social media. What's wrong with Wolfie? Wrapping up here. Obsbot really hit the nail on the head here. For less than $500, you get a portable studio that you can take anywhere. Calling this a streaming camera is an understatement. Between the image quality, AI tracking, and gesture control, it makes a huge difference if you're a solo streamer. Either way, I'm Udi Kiyosh with DIYphotography.net and I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button, the share button, the just hit all the buttons on the screen, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Thank you.